Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a nice topology with um, while using custom shapes. So let me show you the problem. So I'm, I'm working on an object that's apart from a bigger um, uh, project and the main shape here is circular but it's not completely circular meaning is that I cannot use a basic shape as a circle and then as a rectangle and then this is built out out of one piece but while the topology keeps nice so I can play with it and work with it. So let me show you first the problem. So if I take a, a cylinder, um, regardless how much I scale this, let's try to scale this up to make it about the same size. You can see that this will not fit to this because this is not a complete circle. So I need to use a custom shape. So I used this, I created this using an arc, okay? The problem here with an arc is if you create this shape um, like this, let me just start from scratch. If you start creating like this, let me just show you the idea. You can create this in two ways. You can create this using simple lines. If you want to have the bare minimum, just three lines and then the arc, or you can do it like the way I did it as a, a rectangle basically. And I create a rectangle like this, and then I create an arc from this piece over here till this piece over here. So an arc doesn't have to be completely circular. And just show you over here again, this is not circular. If I take something from the center over here, you'll see this is not really circular. So I'll just press escape to exit this. Okay. Now, if I'm going to isolate this now, just to show you the problem, if I'm going to use um, this fill polygons now, the way we create from a um, profile into a surface, you see what we get. We get all of these lines over here. Instead of a nice circular shape, we get this lines over here and then this lines over here. And now this is the nature of basic transformation, uh, um, triangulation, because they don't really know the shape. It's not unlike this basic shapes where we know the shape. We know a cylinder is supposed to be circular. This doesn't know the shape. We just take a set of vertices. And um, it's not a topic here, but to explain the different type of transformations. Um, some like loft, for example, will add details, while some others um, predominantly, like like mostly when you think about the Lani triangulations, the idea is it's constrained, meaning it's, it will not add vertices. So it needs to find the best solution with the existing vertices, how to do it. And this is on purpose, um, again, it's a, it's a topic for a different video to explain why this is needed and, and why it's, it's really helpful in, in modeling this way but nevertheless here I want to have a nice structure so how do I go about so I can try first of all if you would draw this with lines you would get something like this um, in this case it wouldn't help it may even be worse or the same uh, the same thing you get these type of lines and it doesn't really find out uh, it doesn't really know how to solve this problem so what I did is and then and additionally I wanted to have these extra pieces that I extruded out that piece so I can use drawing over here to add details. The main idea, first of all, is that if you give a triangulation the solution, you help it give it extra details that you may not need for your structure, but it helps with triangulation, then you may end up, if you understand how triangulation works, you may end up giving a, 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 a getting good results. And then sometimes you need also to clean up. So you can use drawing to do what I'm going to do now, but I find it much easier to use add the details. Um, so what I'll do here is, first of all, to solve this problem over here. So I'm going to add a, a line, add, and I want to add an edge. There's an option, edge or vertex. I want to add an edge, and I'm going to, instead of dragging something, I use draw. I want to draw something, and I want to draw a straight line, so I'll set this, and I think 15 should be fine. Now, this will always find the same in drawing. It will always highlight for you in green the center point. So I know I'm touching the center point when I see this green, and then all I need to do is draw a straight line um, over here, and I snap this. <coughs> okay, so this already adds some details. Now, I don't need this for my structure. I'm just needing it what I can do now. I take now this center point, and I draw a line over here, and again from here, and I draw a line over here. Now, I can actually go and, and already, okay, I snapped it to the wrong place, so I'll end up having extra details. So let me just redraw this, and I need to make sure that I snap it here, so I'm not adding an extra point. Okay, so here, the same idea. Okay, so now what's going to happen is if I'm going to fill this, let's see, fill polygons, I'm already going to get this nice result because I gave it this center point and the, the, the triangulation algorithm will find the center point and will create this. Now it also created this because I had this line over here. So I had this line over here and this vertex over here. Now I, can, I cannot really delete this vertex. I can delete this line 
this line can just click on it and delete it but it wouldn't help because it still has this vertex and it's not going to leave out anything so it will do um, it will be basically adding this vertex over here and i can go to resolution resolution zero and remove this uh, but i'll show you another way how to do it um, but that also need to add these details over here so i'll go back to my edit details tool and what I'm going to do is just to show you all of these, um, I can use probably most of them. So I can use the basic default option that shows up. I'm dragging and I'm going to drag this. And I know this based on my uh, design, this needs to be six over here in. So I just drag and I type in six. And then over here, this was in by 40. So I'm doing 40. And then it was in by 120. Okay. And then this was in by 40 as well. And this was dragged in by 40. Okay, so basically here I'm done with the design. Now here I can delete this and I can draw a new line without this point, um, or you can use resolution zero. Resolution zero will just convert the arc into edges instead of an arc, and it, it doesn't make a difference. A triangulation algorithm does the same anyway, so I can use that as a solution, but I wanted to show, show you over here, because I'm working with other details, how this will work with the other details tool. So I also want to show you that I'm not adding here a line. If I add a line over here to connect it, it may have different results. Sometimes you want to have just quads. You may give it extra results. If you don't give it extra results, it will still find a solution, but you may need to clean up even more. So I'm doing now this. What I'm going to do is go to fill polygon. And here you go what I got over here. Now, let me go back to, to add the details. And I want to explain how this works. So I can go now to remove. And I want to remove points that I don't need. I don't need the center point. We know that. Now, I was able to remove that because this converts into a quad. And this is very interesting. Actually, myself, I was confused about this initially and I had to ask one of the developers because this, to our eyes, looks like a triangle. And then this looks like an extra vertex. So how can I remove it? But the reality is that a quad, we have the option to have triangles or quads. And a quad does not necessarily need to look like a quad. A quad means it has four edges. In this case, if you count the vertices, I have one, two, three, and then the fourth one over here. And this is still a manifold shape, so it allowed me to remove. If I'm going to remove more over here, this wouldn't allow me because it will make it non-manifold because it'll end up having more than four vertices. And some over here I can remove it, but it may reduce some details. For example, this may become a little bit flat. Actually not. This is not, it wouldn't allow me to remove it, but again, this turns into a quad. So every second I can remove actually because these are now quads as an extra vertex, but there's only four vertices and, and, and so on. Um, over here, if you think about, let's see, I can remove this, okay, or remove this or this, but I cannot remove all of them. So you see, I can remove now this, so I have to be careful what do I want to remove. But the reason I actually should be able to remove, let me, let me do it the way this should work actually, a nice, if I have a nice topology, if I have this vertex over here, the easiest way is to connect it with this line and this with this line. But this I should be able to remove, the same way I was able to remove this line. And the reason I cannot remove it, because this vertex over here. So in order, how do I remove this vertex? What I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and click here to collapse it. And here you go, it's collapsed. And it's automatically, in this tool, automatically removes the duplicates. And some other tools, when you remove something, or if you manually collapse something using the snap tool or others, you have to then go to geometry, clean, remove duplicates. Over here, this automatically does it. So what we did over here, we collapsed it. Now I can collapse this, but this wouldn't look nice. I'll rather go and remove this triangle over here, this inner triangle, and this would be nicely connected over here. I can remove this triangle, this, and this, and I think I have a triangle over here as well. Oh, this wouldn't allow me um, because I guess I have here, yes, because this vertex over here, this I can remove, okay, because this vertex over here is not connected. I can go and draw a line over here to isolate that and then remove it but i guess that's fine for now so let's see actually if i draw a line over here i can isolate this so let's see if i add a line over here and from here to here okay now i should be able to remove this okay this is not be able to remove but i can collapse it if you really want to make it nice topology you can just go collapse this okay and once this is collapsed I think I should be able to remove this as well. Yes, so now you see we have nice quads over here. And I have to do the same thing over here. I can draw this line over here and then remove and collapse. So I have this and now I can go to remove this and this wouldn't allow me to remove it, but I can collapse it and it wouldn't change 
the thing. So if I collapse this for this, for example, I will change the structure. Let me show you. If I change this to this, you see it breaks the topology because there's nothing here. But if I collapse an inner line, that's not a problem. And once I collapse this, I should be able to remove this as well. So now you can see a very nice quads over here all over. And I can do the same thing over here, just, just a matter of time. Just drawing the line over here and collapsing and moving over here. Okay. And now what I want to show you is how do I convert this the way I did it. So add thickness, basically. This converts it into a mesh. Okay. But now what I want to do is I go to faces. And basically what I did here is I extruded this. And I actually used individual transformations for this. Because if you go to transformations, to scale, um, you see, it gives me the size of this bounding box, the complete bounding box. And if I select one, I get the real size. It's 40 over 120. And if I select both, I, I don't get duplicate 40. And, you know, I still get 120 because this didn't change. But this is not 80, double and 40. This is the entire bounding box. So if I want to size both of them together, and two, it's not a big deal. You can select each and size it. But if you have many, many faces and you want to do each of them, this would be very helpful to know that. I go individual transformations. Now it counts a bounding box for each one, but it cannot show me over here because I have only one box. I don't have two boxes. And in case we have 20 faces, we don't have 20 boxes. So we just leave it zero. But now if I'm going to enter a value, I want this to be 20. It sizes each one 20. And this I want to be 60 instead of um, um, 120. And basically I got this selected like this. So that's basically it, how you do it. I want to show you one other example how this can actually be helpful at the details tool is um, to add some details before other tools, for example, for stitch and scoop. So as well as I have this, I want to cut this out over here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this uh, capsule over here and look what's happening over here. The same problem, stitch and scoop will triangulate and it finds these triangles to connect over here because it doesn't add any details. And you have these elongated, long triangles. And sometimes if you have very complex meshes, uh, this may create some issues, but especially if you want to keep this clean over here. So how can I solve this problem? So basically what I'm going to do is, all I need to do is I'm going to add a line over here to isolate this. So I'm going to go to, I have to deselect this one, keep only this, and I go to my Add the Details tool again, and I'm simply going to drag this line down here below. That's it. And what I do now, if I select these two and I add, I remove the same thing I did before, this will already make these triangles like this. And I can even isolate it more. I mean, I can do it like this and I can then clean up this triangle over here, go to the details and remove this triangle. <coughs> okay, make it like this. But I can even do it more. If I want to keep it more clean, what I can do is I can uh, do it even, let's say I'll go back over here. I can add some other lines over here, or I can just go and select this object only, select this face, let's say, and do inset. I can inset it so from all of the sides, and it has to be obviously that should intersect. So insect it wouldn't, inset wouldn't give me much because it wouldn't allow me to isolate it very much. So actually add the details is better. So I'm going to go again to add the details, and I'm going to add some more lines over here, right next to it over here and drag this over here right next to it over here and then drag it down here and here maybe a little bit more like this and now let's see what I get over here now if I select this um, I can remove this and look what I got very nice cut out only here and then this I can even still clean up even more I can remove these triangles and this one obviously I can't unless I'm adding a line over here, make it quads. So I can kind of draw a line over here to make this into a quad. And once I do these lines over here, I can go and remove these triangles. And same thing over here, over here. So over here, this I can actually collapse here. I don't need this extra line, I can just collapse them all remove this and then I can because I added this extra line before I, I did this higher line so it was not needed and then I can remove this and obviously I can move this down the line it make it straight but that's not the point the point here is that you can really use these
tools to clean it up and get a very nice topology uh, structure and play around with it. Um, okay, I hope this is helpful. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, maybe another sh quick tip that I want to show you here very quickly is that Selkit has a new feature, which I'm not aware if anyone has it, that Stitch and Scoop actually keeps colors. So if I would go, let's say, for example, color this, and then I do the Stitch and Scoop to cut this out, um, you see it k keeps the color inside, which is a very nice way of painting inner parts and so on. It works the same with material, and it's quite cool. Um, okay, that's it for today. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.